Big changes are officially coming to Marion's Tower Square Plaza. At Monday's City Council meeting, members approved an engineering agreement with Chastain and Associates for the design of the improvement project. Marion Mayor Mike Absher says he is hopeful construction on the inner circle of Tower Square will be completed by the end of the year. We're just now starting to get into it and the design is not complete. It's not agreed on as to what elements are there or are not, but I hope that once we do get on that, the construction won't take all that long and we'll have be able to enjoy it by the fall or at least the winter. Some ideas for the construction include a seasonal fountain and ice rink, rain gardens, new benches, shade structures, and removable bollards, just to name a few. Again, the whole point is to have reasons for people to visit the square continually and to enjoy it. So beyond that, though, there are some um, pergolas and things that will be built on, of course, there's no corners of it, but if you watch where the pathways, the walkways are onto the circle, that's what I'm talking about as the corners is some pergolas there that will provide some shade so if people wanted to eat under them or if you wanted to bring a guitar or something like that and play music you could have some shade and have a venue to do that so the the outermost part of the square the center part will largely remain the same although the landscaping may change but that's where we've got our monuments and um, those will probably stay although we may some of them we may remount because there's very uh, some of them are mounted on brick, some of them are mounted on granite, and we may want to try to make that a little bit more uniform. But other than that, the, the, the part nearest the street is probably largely going to stay the same. City officials are also hoping to introduce a new smart parking system. Absher says that any additions will not be completed until construction on the inner circle of the square is complete. To get into the 21st century, this smart parking is, is actually not really all that difficult. Uh, technologically is you put a little hockey puck type device in the pavement and it just simply senses whether there's something sitting above it or not and communicates that to an antenna and that antenna communicates it through the internet to an app or a, a cloud-based platform of which there could be an app or signs that we display and can direct people where the open spots are. It's also from a wayfinding standpoint those are of us that are familiar with uh, Google Maps or Apple Maps or whatever that says take me there, you push a button and take me there, it also should have the ability for you to identify where you want to go and it will show you the nearest parking place to that at that moment of course. So we've got to do both. It's not just a technological issue but there are some people that will solely use technology to find it and but honestly it's not rocket science we got to do a better job of showing people just how convenient and how quick they can get onto the square and all the businesses that are on the square we just got to do a better job with that but so the technology is just one piece of that that effort city officials are still working to finalize a design plan for the new improvements